Hi guys, welcome to the Root Motion tutorial series, part 4. In today's episode, we're going to add our jumping as well as a slow motion feature. I like to use this when adding combat and for doing any motion warping such as mantling or climbing to adjust animations. So, just a little extra thing I figured I would go ahead and add in. Um, today's episode is going to be the last one for this series. Uh, we're going to be moving on to enhanced input from here on um, since that is going to be the standard for Unreal Engine moving forward. So that's how we're going to start setting everything up. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. So first we are going to go ahead and add our mapping in for our jump. So let's go over to edit project settings. Go down to input. You may have it in here already. It's usually pretty standard, but just in case you don't, you're gonna go ahead and add in an action mapping by hitting the plus, and then you'll just add in your spacebar key. Um, and if you wanna add in gamepad, you can add in some gamepad controls here as well. So once you got that set up, let's go ahead and open up our third person character blueprint. that timeline from the camera zoom um, so we've already got our jumping input come set up standard uh, we can get rid of this we definitely don't need that that's for a uh, touch screen I mean if you're doing cell phone stuff then you know Android iOS mobile mobile game then you'll need that but um, I mainly focus on PC so uh, so let's see. So we need to go ahead and compile that and save that. Let's go ahead and open up our animation blueprint as well. And we're going to and duplicate our try to get pawn owner drag off of here get movement component it is falling this is only if you do not have this in here if you already have your jumping stuff set up you don't really need to follow this but uh, this is basically you know fresh start so you may you may not have this in here yet unless you've added it yourself already um, and then we're going to promote the return value we're going to call this is in air question mark and um, we're going to use this for jump animations for our transitions. So we're gonna go ahead and set that there. Let's go ahead and move this stuff over here. So it's a little bit cleaner. Okay. So let's set up our locomo locomotion state machine, as well as add in the jumping. Um, we didn't do any of the state machines in the last videos. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and get that set up. So just go over to your anim graph. So we just got the blend space in here so we can copy that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Right click, I'm gonna add a state machine. So add new state machine. Let's go ahead and rename this as locomotion. And then double click on that locomotion state machine and we're gonna drag off the entry, add a state, call this idle slash run. Double click on that. Go ahead and paste that blend space back in here. Then let's go back to the main anim graph. 
We're gonna add a local. Default slot. That's what we're gonna add. Default slot. And you should see your animations working. So, and then go ahead and compile and save that. And you should see your animations in your window here again. Let's go ahead and highlight all this. Hit you line those up just make them a little cleaner actually we're going to disconnect that let's go ahead and just make this cache pose so we're going to go ahead and type in cache new save cache pose locomotion cache cache however you say it uh, let's go ahead and add another state Machines, right click, add new state machine. And this main state. And we'll connect that to the default slot. Go ahead and double click your main state, drag off of here. Add state, motion. Double click in here. From the output, drag off. You can just type in cache, locomotion cache, compile that, and save. And let's go back to random graph. We're going to go back into our locomotion. We're going to go ahead and add our jumping in. Drag off of here. Add state. And this one's going to be jump start. Drag off at another state. Jump loop. Drag off at another state. drag off from that to the idle um, we'll go ahead and set up our transitions real quick um, we haven't imported the animations yet I wanted to get this all set up first so that we're ready to go as far as the animation blueprint being set up and we just have to plug in our animations at that point um, so from the idle to the jump start we're gonna grab that is an error variable that we created Connect that, and then go ahead and go back to your locomotion, and then jump start to the loop. Just click on your transition there, and then we're going to go to automatic rule based on sequence. Jump to land, so click on your transition get is an error variable we're going to add a not boolean Connect that go back out to your locomotion and jump land to idle we're going to just click on that and add rule based on sequence compile that and save so now our animation blueprint is all set up Let's go ahead and uh, add in our animations. Uh, there is a linked post or a pin post in the comments with the jump animations. Um, you're just going to drag those, grab those and drag those in. If you have not added any other animations to your project since the last one, you can keep the settings the same. Um, if you have, then you'll have to go back to the last video where I show the settings and stuff. I've already uploaded the animations. Um, I've shown how to do that already, so I don't think I need to show how to do that again. Uh, so once you get your animations uploaded, 
jump start is going to be our jump up. So we're just going to grab that. Drag our jump up in here. And go back to our locomotion. Our jump loop is going to be our jump loop. Back to locomotion. And our jump land is going to be jump down. All right. We can compile and save that. Go ahead and test that out. You should be jumping and landing. Obviously these animations are not very great using the uh, Mixma ones again. So if you have better animations, you can use those. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the blend to 0.5. Um, change the mode to cubic on the, in between the land and the idle as well as the jump loop and the land five yeah they're not the greatest animations but um, they're just placeholders anyway to get the system set up Uh, so now that that's all set up, um, as you notice, we can't, we're just jumping in place. You can't move forward when you're jumping. So that part we're going to fix. Uh, so we need to go into our third person character. Um, and up at our begin play, do we have a begin play? We've got event tick over here. No begin play. All right, so let's go ahead and begin play. Drag off of that. Cast to tutorial ABP or whatever you named your animation blueprint. Um, that's what we're casting to is the animation blueprint. Um, we're going to get the mesh. Drag that to the object. And then as tutorial ABP, right click on that, we're going to promote that to a variable. Right, compile that. And then down here with our jump, go ahead and stretch this out a little bit so we got some room. Right click, on, so event on jumped, and then event on landed. And then we're gonna grab our ABP that we just promoted. Drag off of that. Set root motion mode. We're going to put ignore root motion. And we're going to connect the jump to that. Go ahead and duplicate that set root motion mode. We're going to connect that to the landed. We're going to set that to root motion from everything. Go ahead and compile and save. Now you're able to jump and move. Go 
it also prevents you from your, your characters basically moving off the animation so it prevents you from sliding across the ground you land it basically stops it so we got that all set up let's go ahead and save our animation blueprint close that we're not going to need that anymore So now slow motion mode. All right, so now for our slow motion, let's go ahead and add another input mapping. So edit project settings, go down to input again. Add in slow motion mode. You can name this to whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna set this to Q for now that to whatever key you like right click slow motion mode and then we're gonna just drag off our pressed we're gonna get a flip-flop um, so what a flip-flop does is when you press the key the flip-flop will then tell it which action it needs to take so if you press the key once it's gonna do action a if you press the key again, it's going to do action B. If you press the key again, it's going to do action A. So then it'll just go back and forth like that. Um, and then off of our flip flop, we're going to set global time dilation down here at the bottom. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to connect that. Top one, we're going to set to 0 0.2. Bottom one, we're going to set to 1. Go ahead and compile and save. Go ahead and go into running. And now when we hit Q, now we're in slow motion mode. See, and then it, it really shows you the jump animation, how bad the Mixamo ones are. So yeah, I, I would definitely recommend changing the animations like i said they're just placeholders so you can have it set up so now you're set up with your blueprint for your jumping um, you're able to actually jump forward uh, instead of being stuck in place so i appreciate all the support from everybody i hope this uh, tutorial series has helped a lot of you out as i said we're going to be moving on to the enhanced input I've been doing a lot of work this week using enhanced input, trying to get the hang of that so I'd have a better understanding of how to implement things. Got a lot of tutorials coming in the future. Basically gonna be doing a lot of different stuff. We're gonna be doing some, some ledge climbing, uh, scrappling hook system. I will also be doing in-place animation locomotion. For uh, those that want to do just the in place stuff and don't want to use root motion for the locomotion, I like the root motion locomotion. Um, looks very smooth and very clean when you're moving, but at the same time, it does use a lot of resources. So if you're planning on people being able to play on a potato, then you might want to go with the in place route uh, or if you've got a lot of stuff that you're planning on adding into your game that's going to be taking a lot of resources at the same time uh, root motion locomotion is just probably not the best option so we'll cover that as well uh, once again appreciate all the support see you guys in the next video peace